Hello everyone, Shen Thomas here. We're talking about the eight stances of Shaolin that are used to the most, kind of how they work, okay? And I've connected them with the eight elements of the I Ching because they actually kind of fit. You know, each one of these stances and its kind of strength and its weakness kind of fits one of the eight elements of the I Ching, right? So we've covered Ma Bu, which I consider Kaun or Earth. We've covered Gongbu, which is both stance, right? But I think of that as Chen, thunder, shooting forward, right? We covered the cat stance, which is Maobu, okay? And then that is, I see that as fire, okay? And then we've gone on to uh, Zhubu, which is lake or empty stance, which is Tui in the eight elements, okay? Because I think of that a lake of a lake on a mountain right and it's empty and then uh, we just talked about pubu which I think of as kaan or falling or chasm falling water so then that's falling back and down right <clears throat> and so when we do all these stances and we do them as like a type of qigong then you can imagine the fire you know the flames kind of broiling and spinning and then you can imagine the earth and the sinking in mabu and you can imagine the thunder as it's shooting through you, which is Chen in Gongbu, right? You can imagine the lake kind of coming back, being empty uh, as Tui or, or lake, and then that's Zhubu, you know? So you can kind of see the energy of these postures as you link them together. And then they're meant to basically link however you want to, okay? So we just talked about Pubu, or that idea of dropping back and down, okay? And so now we're gonna talk about mountain, which is Ken in the eight element, okay? So when we were learning Shaolin, we didn't really know what the name of this stance was, but it's called Ban Mabu, Ban Mabu, which is like half horse stance, okay? But we always thought of it as 60-40, right? So in Mabu, in horse stance, you're 50-50, okay? So when we do ban mabu, one leg's going straight to the side and one is forward, okay? So it's like a big L, a big L shape, 90 degrees, okay? And then the one leg kind of going forward is kind of where our power is going forward. And this leg on the side, we can still deflect things, right? But it's basically the energy's going forward. Okay, with Ban Mabu. And so quite often you'll see in other martial arts, they'll use this as just a way to drop their center of gravity, but they usually have one side forward, right? Uh, and in a lot of art, art, uh, martial arts are bladed, which means to turn to the side, right? But in Shaolin, we're still forward. Our, our hips are forward with that one foot that's forward, okay? So with Mabu, our legs are almost parallel to the ground. We might have a little bit of an angle, okay? With uh, <clears throat> Ban Mabu, or what I call mountain or kin, then the legs were actually up a little bit higher than Earth. So we have sharp angles. So it's kind of like a mountain because we're sitting up high and we have sharp angles, even though we've lowered our center, center of gravity, okay? So with Ban Mabu, there's usually, like we may have turned to the side in Mabu and we've done gog, Gongbu, but we'll come back into a Ban Mabu as like an on guard, right? Or quite often we'll block something and shoot in, but we'll step in with this. So it's kind of like the idea of with Mabu, when somebody throws power at you, you step in with Mabu, right? Well, quite often we'll step in with Ban Mabu. And we'll have one arm down here to protect <laughs> because there is that opening, right? So Ban Mabu, again, uh, is like Mabu, but the one leg's turned to the side, both legs are bent, and you're turned towards the front leg, 
Okay, so that's 60-40 stance or band mabu, which I call mountain. And so with mountain, they might grab your hands. Well, you'll move one hand down and then shoot over to break a grab and move in. So quite often with, with band mabu, then there's this energy pulling down like mabu, right? But it's pulling down towards the front and then the power comes from the back. Similar to Gongbu that way. So it's kind of like a mixture between Mabu, which is Earth, right? Ka'un, and Gongbu, which is Thunder. But you're kind of combining them. But it gives you a little more stability, okay? Because with Ban Mabu, you can't be pulled forward too easily. Where if you do a Gongbu and shoot forward, you can be pulled forward, okay? And of course, usually, that's why with Shaolin, if you project forward in Gongbu, then your next move will be either another Gongbu as you're pulled forward, or you might drop down in a Pubu, or they pull forward, you might step forward into Banmabu, okay? So Banmabu or Ken Mountain, they say that that's like calmness and meditation. So I think of like a monk sitting up on a mountain. And so he's up there and he's got his power and his structure solid, like a mountain, okay? So that's Ban Mabu. And again, we used to call it 60-40 because it seemed like the back blade had 60 and you had 40 in the front. And quite often we would step forward with that stance and attack with it, okay? So again, uh, thanks for watching. And that was Ban Mabu or the mountain Ken element. <laughs>